and exclusive. Hi guys, hi guys, my name is beautiful Nontigelen Malo, proudly South African, based in Finland, currently in Turkey, making videos. My sweetie pints, this is Alanya, we're still in Alanya, I'm not in Alanya already, if you do follow my content, you do know that I did move, but I still have so much content to bring it down, to show you, because sweetie pie, you cannot be a sweetie pie, and then not be too sweated <laughs> so guys this is um in alanya alana is made out of beach um but i don't want you to know that it i don't want you to think it's only the beach that is there that's why i made this video and i got to see the things that i know that you will want to see if you visit there if you visit alanya please don't stay at the sea uh, just staying at the sea just explore so here we were going to the cave, like the real cave, not that small Anyana cave I went to uh, the other day in the water. And guys, I want to say this, uh, Turkish people love Turkey so much uh, with the flags and everything. My, my people like, like, they love the country. But anyway, we're not about the country. We're not about what they love. We're just going to the cave. But at the moment, just enjoy, enjoy. guys um as you can see this site is totally different from the site that we just came to uh the other side you have uh the beach and everything but when you come this side this is where you can see the mountains and everything i want to tell you this food in uh in turkey is very cheap it just depends also where you are when they see that there is it's a touric touristic place then the food is very expensive not expensive expensive it's expensive compared to other places you know and i want to tell you in turkey guys the reason that the food is so affordable all these trees that you are watching right now it's a fruit of something you see the lemon you see the avocado you will see banana you would see oranges they have pears they got grapes all these things it's in their garden so that's why it's so cheap you know like you, you and most of the time i didn't buy the, the the fruit because everywhere we were going there was just like a tree of something and then i would just grab and eat you know grab and grab and put in the plastic a pulled uh, you name it you name it i've been visiting some friends as well and i, I they have been killing me with the fruits fruits after fruits and guys i want to also tell you this if you are going to be going to this cave, which I'm just showing you right now, the road and everything. If you are going to be going there and you are driving your own car, um, you got to be a very good driver. The road is very small. And if you fall, you fall on the mountain. You know, the road is very, very small. And mind you, Finnish people, they don't, they drive very bad. They are very reckless. They don't care. They don't stop. They don't give another person away. So honey, they might push you over. You just need to be very very careful if you are gonna be using your own car at the same time this you can um you hire it it's not like hiring you get those people who have chips and stuff so they're always ready for to take the tourist um on top of that cave you just say i want to go to the alanya cave um i heard about it it's on the mountains can you take me there they will take you there but also i don't remember the name of the cave but you are gonna see the name uh when we get there which we are almost there i wanted to show you guys the beauty you know the mountains and the badness of the of the road Oh, 
We are there, we are there, we are there, we are there, we just arrived. As you can see, the cars I was talking about, guys, that you can't just hire them and you'll be safe. You'll be 100% safe. Again, if you want to drive your own car, be my guest, honey, you can do it. I know I can do it, but um, I don't know if I will push someone over because they don't give you the way, you know. They just don't give you the way. Um, they can drive in the middle of the road, which before the truck have pushed me um over the streets and and oh i remember because i had a one series uh bmw the time and you know uh the bm the the, the tires at the back are not uh, are always like slippery they move that's why they make this cars a uh, uh, for the for the for the running running of the cars uh, so they the truck pushed me over so i know this thing of oh, people pushing me pushing you uh sometimes over <laughs> guys <laughs> What did I just explain? Oh Lord! So guys, in him, uh, we were now we'll get here, where the cave is. Outside, you can't tell that this place have a cave. They've got like restaurants. They got your, they got your 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 where you can sit and relax. The place to take the pictures and stuff like that. You cannot tell at all that this is uh there is a cave. But right now, I'm walking towards the cave. And I want to tell you, yo, guys, it was one of the scariest uh, thing. When I came out, I couldn't breathe. I couldn't walk. I think I have some kind of what you call. You can name it on the comment section. Fear or homophobia. <laughs> what am I saying? But yeah, guys, I, I think I got that fear of the caves because it was the second cave in my life I went to. And I couldn't breathe. And... I, I did get to the end, but not end end. I just wanted to get out. I was sweating. Uh, my legs were shaking. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, and also, I don't think that's in the cave. No one didn't die. I think some people died. And yeah, but anyway, you have to pay like $3 to get in the cave. It's called Dim Makarasi Cave. So now we know the name. As you can see, the name of the place yes the name of this cave so you can write it down and tell them i want to go to the dim uh, cave and they will take you there <clears throat> now okay, we are entering yo because you know i was scared remember Pilamin and black black people when you say here is a, a snake we run and then white people they want to go there and watch the snake you know and pick it up so this was like yo 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 out guys in when i went in like freaking out freaking out um i did uh want to show you that in the eyes of the camera sometimes you see the light is bright but it was a bit darker than um the the the, the, the phone camera showed which some some parts of the video i do show you so um i didn't have a talk guide or anyone who would tell me but i did hear that here used they used to have uh, bones of people. I don't know what and how those bones were there. And also, this cave is very famous as well. They even have some kind of a small uh, uh, lake inside this uh, cave. So you got to check it out, especially if you are a person who love uh, enthusiastic things. I don't know if that's a good way, a good word for English, but if you like things that are out of a uh, yeah, out of the normal. This is a good place to go to. I want to find a good music actually for for this. This rock and roll.
Mm. Oh, and guys, if you are just wondering, okay, no, see, I see the cave, the texture of the of these uh things or stones that you are looking at, the texture is stone. You tell like you are touching a soft stone, like a stone, like each. So they are not any kind of maybe different texture. Which when I was watching them also, I was kind of like thinking before I even touched them and I was even scared to touch them. So I saw another tourist like touching and I went to touch too. And yeah, they are like, they are just stones, you know, they are just stones. So, yep. If you have a question, like you are thinking, okay, no, when you are inside, when you are walking on these things, where are you going and what are you going to see? Actually, when you are walking here, you are just looking at all these holes and these, uh, magical, um, these magical stones and you just keep walking, keep walking. It's like you are in the mountain. You don't know where you are going. But you just keep walking and in the end there is like some kind in the end there is some kind of like uh, a lake uh, that you would see so you just keep walking I finally find the suitable music <laughs> And also, guys, you know, I want to tell you this. In this cave, there was a, like, of course, I was the only black person. And <laughs> I was just looking and thinking to myself, yeah, most of the black people wouldn't come here because, damn, <clears throat> we, are, we don't like scary stuff and scary things. <laughs>
ടാക്സി and guys um there was this guy and this guy is like um uh playing some piano i mean some music which i stood there and listened to it and i made a video of course and i gave him a tip um yeah but it sounds so good but it doesn't sound the whole place it's only like in a certain space because this cave is very very big <clears throat> and guys i want to tell you this when i was making the video i was by the swimming pool so there were some people who were talking so i'm sorry about that <coughs> excuse me So guys, thank you so much for watching. We are at the end of the video. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe and like the video. Um, yeah, uh, people who love the caves and who love to see different and new things, I'm sure they will go and check this place out. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. But if you don't like to be in a space that you can't see outside, you can't do anything, please do not go because I felt like that and I, did, I almost like fell you know but so please do check my other videos and do also follow me on instagram and i am on facebook as well thank you so much for watching mwah, mwah.